Alright everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com and we're going to take a quick look at that update that the Nexus One just got. Uh, Multi-touch is the big thing and here's how it looks in the browser. This is the mobile version of Android Central, but there you go, you still get multi-touch. Just like we've been using for, you know, a long time on the iPhone. <laughs> and we just now got it. Let's see how it looks on the full version of the site. Multi-touch is a little different here in, in just the way it feels. Um, on the iPhone, when your fingers stop moving, the zoom stops. Here it seems to take just a little bit, it almost has an elasticity to it. It's a little odd, but uh, you get used to it pretty quick. It's not that big a deal. So there you go. Zoom. Zoom out. Zoom in. Pan around. Really the way it should be, and I'm glad we finally got it, and hopefully we'll get it on uh, other devices in the US soon. Let's take a quick look at the gallery now, which is the second of the three apps that got multi-touch enabled. There's a cute picture of my wife and kid. And multi-touch again, pinch to zoom. Spread your fingers to zoom out. And pan around once you're zoomed in. And there you can see how it kind of takes a second to stop uh, once your finger quits moving. It's, you know, it's not a big deal. It's just something you're going to have to get used to as you're using it. Cool. Now let's go take a look at Google Maps, which is the third and arguably the biggest, I think, at least next to uh, the browser in a place where you definitely want to use multi-touch. So here I am taking a look at uh, Barcelona, where we're going to be at Mobile World Congress next week. And again, multi-touch is multi-touch. I'm on Wi-Fi and it's taking a second to refresh but that's no big deal now here's the other thing that was updated uh, Google Maps itself got an update and it actually lets you star searched items there you see I hit the star right there and when you do that it's gonna sync it up in the Google Cloud and you can go and get that on your desktop so if you search for something on your desktop you can get to it on your phone just as easy as well let's dive into the settings real quick and we can just see what version we're dealing with there you go it is firmware version 2.1 dash update one so that's it not a 2.2 .2 rev or anything uh there you go and we'll see you guys later